In this video, I go over how to add details to a 3D model without having to do any sculpting and by way of using alphas. In this example, I will be showing this by creating a simple stylized pickaxe. In this video, I will be using Maya 2023, but any version of Maya or any other 3D program can be used to follow along. I created the shape of the pickaxe by using cubes and shaping those to the appropriate shapes. For the top part, I added extra edge cubes and enabled soft selection in order to scale the tip. I also used a bent deformer to bend the shape. In this case, I also wanted the edges to look a bit more smooth, so I decided to bevel the edges while moving some vertices to add a bit more variation to the edges. For the handle, I also added more edge loops to change the silhouette of the model a bit more. To keep things consistent, I also beveled the edges for the handle. With the 3D model ready, I proceeded to create the UVs for it. In this case, the model is very simple so creating UVs was not very complicated. For the UVs, I applied a planar map to the model and cut edges at the bottom of the model. It is important to try to keep UV cuts in areas which will not be too visible, as sometimes the seams may become noticeable. For the handle, I did the same thing and also straightened the UVs. Before exporting, I used a script for auto smoothing groups to set the normals of the model. I also grouped the meshes and renamed them. For the high poly model, I simply duplicated the low poly and softened the edges as well as added bevels to some of the edges. I exported the models as FBX files. In substance, I baked my maps by loading the high poly model in the settings. Because this is a really simple model, I did not bake using the bake by mesh name setting. For the texture, I applied the 3DX stylized wrap material, which there is a link to in the video description. I made a duplicate of the main color and assigned it to the top section. Now it's time to show you how to add details to a model without doing any sculpting. I created a new layer with height information and applied a black mask to it. I imported some alphas which I made in Photoshop into Substance Painter. By double clicking on an alpha, you can use that alpha on your brush and start using it. In this case, I used a few different alphas for the wood and later some cracks for the stone section. Using alphas allows you to add details without having to do any sculpting in something like ZBrush. You can use as many different alphas as you want and these are relatively easy to make in Photoshop. I proceeded to use some of these alphas to add details to the model. I made a few different layers to be able to control the different alphas as well as the intensity of the details. Using custom alphas gives you the opportunity to add details directly in Substance Painter. Let me know if you have used this technique before and if you have any other suggestions to make this workflow better. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to take a look at the channel for more videos like this one.